What is up, man? I never ever start intros like this, but I do have important information I want to speak about today. I want to I'm gonna tell you guys about depression and the core of depression that I found with the side of me. So shit, I, I thought I wasn't even fucking recording real quick, but the de- depression, right, it is it's when you can't be vulnerable with yourself <laughs> and vulnerability vulnerable, vulnerable being vulnerable with yourself is honestly one of the most best things you can do to help depression because you either have these ideas of something that you're not you're always feeling like you're lacking something like uh like I I, what I get depressed about sometimes is like, fuck, man, I don't, gotta, I don't have that one for me. I don't have this girlfriend, nor do I have experience. But at the same time, I also am very... I, I'm still going through pornography and having a lot of lust. So that is something that does um, make me sad sometimes. But I will tell you, my walk with God on this journey, especially with the pornography and the lust... That I have been embracing I have learned a lot I truly have learned a lot And People always say Refrain from pornography Don't do it But if you are a man and a male Especially in today's society bro I I, I would see it very hard Now as like Twitter Now okay so It's a way to do it healthily And it's a way to just completely just Just down slip yourself with pornography and it is if you don't have that balance, right? And so with me, I am trying to stop doing it daily. Like I will do it probably every day at the end of the night or probably twice a day. But I'm trying to stop it completely. Like at least go a week and get that far. I have I have I have came that far, but I want to I was curious again. I'm so I want to try it out. So as as you people speak with me and all that no fap stuff and that is the start of your depression uh i mean start of the the best of your depression i will say no bro the best start to to actually start looking at things better is to say well why am i doing this and because there is a reason you have went to pornography and i'm sorry to even start this off with pornography but that is one of the things that i like to touch on for me because this is a core thing that really made me not confident in myself not really um i I feel really insecure when i i talk about it i feel really insecure back in high school when i I was watching it because i i have discovered porn when i was like shit five and it was introduced to me by people in my family and so i was like and i got curious and i i kept going back to it i kept going back to it i kept going back to it and I never stopped, and so I'm this, this is where I'm at today. And to say I never stopped is not like a shameful thing because I, I wanted to keep going. And so I, pe- most people say that I, I fucked up, I failed. It's it's it's. I feel like God has something greater beyond that. It wasn't as like a uh, no, I'm done, I'm done with it. No, like it, it's it's really it's kind of. The way to explain it is like it's a tool, right? And this tool, it can be used to help alleviate some frustrations that you got. But if you are this manly man, you know, you can just go days without thinking about stuff like that. And I, congrats to you, congrats. But some people are, you know, weak-minded. Some people have been touched in the past. Some people have, you know, are just tech nerds and all they see is this lustful stuff on the internet. And so it is very hard to actually keep up this barrier against this lust. So I, I find like the best way to escape the lust is embrace it, but embrace it in a way where it's balanced. And you're not trying to, you're not, cause I feel like it starts in the, the thinking process. It's like, it's like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this, right? And so it feels even better. It's like a guilty pleasure. But once you say, well, I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do it healthily. I'm gonna I'm I'm do it. I'm gonna try to do it one time. You know, this one ejaculate, and that's it. That's it, right? Or, or now when you, 
now when you say I'm not gonna do it at all and then you do it then you're like well fuck I did it I might as well keep going and that is another thing that is like a, a way of like getting you deeper and deeper so I feel like if you do have expectations of not actually trying to um actually trying to if you do have expectations of actually trying to come from pornography you should do it in a way of embracing it and balancing it out and and easing your way to to stopping right and this is the best way and, and plus these thoughts you also have to make it uh something of god always face god because a guy is going to be right there with you no matter what even if you're not thinking about him he's always going to be there with you so this is what i do I just I constantly think about God and even even when I'm on the the most vulgar stuff sometimes I, I I give it to God like I was like I know I know who God is I'm reading I'm reading for God myself and he said that he can he can heal me from this he can so I give it to God and it's not like a sense of I'm escaping responsibility but I, I'm praying I'm also moving towards he take this 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 urge away from me and I, I can have more self-control of myself I'm able to I'm able to recognize that, you know, this is unbalanced me and I really need to stop. I was able to do this back when I was, but it's like my mind started slipping, especially as all this lustful stuff on social media and you see all the women, you see all the men, you see all, you see everybody just really not giving a fuck about the celibacy life that people are trying to live or not giving it like just about relationships or none of that. And so it's, it's just like Solomon and Gomorrah. It's just like Babylon. It's, it's back in these days of where sexual immorality is at all. It's, it's getting higher and higher and higher. So I feel like the way to to embrace this and to conquer this is to know that it's going to be in front of you. You need to you need to know that the lust. Also, I was reading somewhere in a book that that it's not really considered lust unless you take action on it, right? And so if you take action, and so if you have some, some thoughts that come across, recognize them, but cast them away, push them down, push them aside and just let them, just let them temporarily be. I'm not saying let them be in your mind, but if they come, just let them go away. Like, 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 it's like a leaf in the water. That's cause it's just trying to interrupt and throw waves and make you all, you know, get hyped up. So just let it be right. So that's one of my things of depression i feel like that is the first thing because that this is like the foundation it's self-control of relationships and this is something that my me and my granny discussed about self-control she said you really need self-control and i'm listening because that is the key to it all is self-control so um i just know that i'm sorry i speak i speak fast i like to blast this information out but that is one of the, the like the first steps to actual depression i feel like or losing a loved one which i really i'm gonna say i really i don't know how to feel about it because that is something that like i still really am unsure about because the people who did die in my family is like i really didn't i don't even know how to say it like emotional attachment or what it is but i just don't this griefing is not here but if i lose like somebody super close like my mom or granny is like i don't know how to go about that and i know that's one of the stages that why people get depressed is because they might lose a loved one or or a relationship or they might get heartbroken a dog or something you know something very valuable that they hold to them so I, that that is something i was talking about early in my life about everything is temporarily but something well god stays the same God, he he is the truth in all universal things. So that is what my focus should be on if I do lose something. And I and I should know that if I am a believer in God, then the stuff will carry. I will I will be living eternally. I will see my my uh, family. I will see the people who 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 show love to me. And it's like I will see these people again because I believe in. In, in my God And I will bring life to that And It's Now we're getting Now we're getting to the root Of, of depression And it's, it's like Death And it's like Oh I, well I really don't have anything To look forward to Because it's, it's all meaningless With this nihilistic mindset 
or it's, it's all it's all going to fade away. But if you have this other mindset as it's just the expression of life, ah, in a moment, and how you do that is how you want to do that. You can be reserved, you can stay in your box, or you can you can become self-aware and you can start to build yourself, or you can stay how you want to be. It's just be because some people change, some people don't. Some people change others, some people don't. So it's it's like a life is all these things going around each other. It's all these gears to make life work. It's like one big old machine of life in death because you need you need them to contrast the polarity, which is God. And God he is he covers all of it. He covers the death and the life because if you're eternal death is nothing but a sleep. And one thing that my friend asked me is how do you know? How do I know? And that's something that always befuddles me. How do I know? And I can only say God. Studying God. And that is my answer. Studying studying how, how people think. Studying how people move, how people react to, to situations. It's all like a, a, a similar pattern, right? And it's all very similar. Some and I don't wanna to say it's everybody's the same and no. I'm seeing like it's just different flavors all over the place and it's like it's, you, you whatever you look into it you pick of what you eat right you're picking of whatever you're eating out of life so I'm just saying all this because depression is is something that can make you sexy shit I, I'm not like it's something that can make you lovable depression is something that can make you um, achieve more in life because what necessarily with depression is you're just going through this low. That's all it is. And so, if you are recognizing this low, you should recognize how to handle these lows and how to. Hold on, let me skip this. Okay, so yeah, okay, so depression is, is that low, right? It's that when you dip, you go up, you dip, you up, you dip, and you up. And you can, you can honestly sometimes look at the whole process as fucking meaningless and just still be depressed. And honestly, you you can be sick and tired of going through these ups and downs of life, and just be like, "Bro, what what's the point, bro? What is the the point is to that? What I have to say is your heart, your mind. You will see yourself in the process change with life once you embrace it. Because usually, when we are so depressed to the point of the ups and the lows and the ups, we have stepped back so far from life." that we are not really participating. We're not really giving it our all. We're so awake and so intelligent to the point where we are, we are like, we're like becoming awoke zombies, you know? And I feel like there's something that the enemy wants for a lot of people because we should embrace these ups and downs and lows and we should come together and fill it with each other. Now what we're trying to do is we're all separate and isolated and we believe that is the best way to go because of we can't trust nobody because of this propaganda that's being put in our heads about this fucking I don't see that this is to make me upset. It's like the leaders of this world is bullshitting us, bro. It's like a slave a slave mentality community. I don't get it. Maybe it's, maybe capitalism have expired its time. It's time for something new. And I feel like it's way it's more it's time to go towards that path. So if the leaders are not on that terms, then it is most definitely for something evil and very nihilistic. It's something of not God in it. And so I'm gonna I'm cut it off around here at 15. I don't wanna go too long, but depression is 
it's sometimes a beautiful thing. It's like a process of being broken and having that gold, having God come in you and having a light shine. It's like that darkness. Sometimes it, it, it's to slow you down, right? Like you're, you're getting like, you can't see nothing. You, you, you bumping your head. And it's like, as of right now, I feel like I'm in darkness. I really, the only thing I'm, I feel I am in darkness, but I am the light. Let me rephrase that. And through myself, I'm seeing the light that God has gave me grow, right? This is the light that God has set for me to follow. And so if I, as, if I keep following this light, I keep seeing more and more and more in my life, more opportunities, more ways to think, better, better relationships. And I'm getting more and more goodness in my life. I'm getting more and more out of the relationships that I wanted. I'm getting more and more depth of myself. So it's, it's just darkness. I'm not afraid of it. It's something that a light is supposed to do. It, it, you're supposed to embrace darkness. And you're supposed to expand into the darkness. And to, and to spread your light So No I, it, it's If anything I want it to come closer So it can uh, Be 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 lighter You know And it, it, it can Love And express the joy As I feel Or as it feels Or however it wants to feel But I know that I have Done what I'm supposed to do As a as light And I'm supposed to Let me be Just be And so um, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Is it, you just gotta face God, and I can't tell you what God is. That's something that you have to do your own searching for. And the way I search is through everything, anything I think about. How is God related to that? How can, how is God related to my thought patterns, my emotions, what I drink, what I watch on porn, what I, everything, bro. What I, what I, how sometimes how I game, I always think about God in these situations. And it's, yeah, it's, it's just, there's no separation. There's no, even with separation, you cannot be separated because God is the separation that he's put himself. For you to understand that, then you know that you have to earn your way back. Because God, he's giving you, he's still giving you a ladder to climb up back to him. He's still giving you his hand. But I, I don't know. Because sometimes they, they say that, I, I don't know. He takes your he takes his hand away from you. When you are, are you when you when you completely um, disregard God, when you completely disregard yourself. Because that that's the only thing that is really the goodness, right? And so... I'm not sure how that process goes if if it hits to the point where he just takes his hand away. Pretty sure you can beg for it back and, and he will extend his arm even further to you because of your change of heart. But I'm not sure. This, these are I'm only asking questions for people to ask them and ask and see what they get out of their mind. See what they get out of their reality. No? And so... I was looking at something, like, and this is the last thing. I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I was looking at in the Bible that when people repent from their sins, God will repent from the prophecy He said that He will bestow on the disobedient humans. And once I, once I, whoo, I got some of that. I'm like, okay, so it's possible to even change and have a better reality, have a better future without going through all this. This prophecy that they see in the Bible. But how? How can I get to that? And so this is where I am in my mind. Because what is prophecy for? If prophecy is there so for you not to listen, of course you're going to get it. But if you do listen to prophecy, what will happen? And I think that is something I want to see. So I thank you guys for watching my video. And... It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better from how I do these, especially how I communicate. Um, take care.